In this module, we shall discuss few finite groups. Since a group has to have at least one element, namely the identity, a minimal set that might give rise to a group is a one element set singleton E. Here E is the identity element. The only possible binary operation on singleton E is defined by E star E equal to E. In this way, you can see that the closure property holds in singleton E and the associative property also holds because there is only one element E and um, uh, you can uh, multiply this element three times in any order you shall get the answer same and e is the identity element so first three properties of the group are satisfied the identity element is always its own inverse in every group so Inverse law is also satisfied. So singleton E is forming a group under binary operation star. Let us try to put a group structure on a set of two elements. Since one of the elements must play the role of identity element, we may as well let the set be E A. As you know that uh, the existence of identity element in group is the necessary axiom. So one element should be E and other we assume that the other element is A. Let us attempt to find a table for a binary operation star on E A that gives a group structure on the set E A. Since E is to be the identity, so E star X equal to X star E equal to X identity law is satisfied for every X belonging to E A. Also, A must have an inverse A prime such that inverse law is satisfied. A star A prime equal to A prime star A equal to identity element. In our case, A prime must be either E or A. And you can easily see that a prime cannot be equal to E. So we have to take A prime equal to A. In this way, we shall get the following table. Star. When we multiply E with E, we shall get E. And when we multiply E with A, we shall get A by identity law and when we multiply by a with e we shall get a and as you uh, have seen in the previous slide a star a should be taken as e so so you can see that the group of two elements is generated by A. So it is a cyclic group. Now we know that Z2 equal to 0 class, 1 class and as you know that it is a group under binary operation addition modulo 2. Its table must be the 1 above with E replaced by 0 class and A replaced by 1 class. And in other words, 
Z2 is isomorphic to the group we have discussed in the previous slide. Now I am going to construct table of Z2 under modulo addition modulo 2 0 class plus 0 class equal to 0 class 0 class plus 1 class equal to 1 1 plus 0 equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 equal to 0 the identity element so there is a 1 to 1 correspondence between E and 0 A and 1 